Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel and welcome back to, of course, to Zai the Only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are you? Pisces, it's time to do your energy check-in for you and the one on your mind for the week ahead. For the beginning of April 2024-ish or whenever you clicked on this reading and decided to come and hang out with me for a little bit. Because my readings are timeless and meant to find you when they find you. I do appreciate you for being here. If you could return the love for me, please. Love the light down here. Share the channel, the video. Help get us out in the Flamita to grow. I would totally love and appreciate you for it. Totally. Also, subscribe. Set the bell to all notifications. I do go live every Tuesday nights at 7.30 p.m. for a pick a card reading on YouTube and Instagram. And also, a live all signs Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. Which, if you're watching this today, it's happening tonight. So, definitely set the bell to all notifications. Come and hang out with me and the OG Mod Squad. If you're concierge for an evening, you'll find in the chat. And we'll just have a great time. All right, pages swords all over the channel as much as you like. I got the healing music base covers with Bill over here. He's a Gemini. We jam out to the Beatles, Cave Petty, Blake Sheldon, Casey Mutt. There's going to be a lot more, too, because there's a new playlist for the meet and greet, which is on. The Total Eclipse meet and greet is happening. I'm coming to Cleveland April 6th, 7th, and 8th this weekend for a big event that is like the meet and greet to eclipse all other meet and greets. Um, April 6th from 5 to 9 p.m. is the musical evening at Breakthrough Sounds Recording Studios. Bill wanted to come along, and that'll probably make some new music for us, too, um, for bass covers and everything. So there will be an engineer in hand, so bring your gear, bring your pipes, or just come and hang out. We'll have a good time. Boom, preview card. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, yeah. Just put it in the map. You can come that way. With the Knight of Wands, you actually feel something good coming your way. You're starting to feel a little positive in the outcome interesting i'm liking that i like previews i they you know I, I like to get nosy so it's the thing i do um but also then on april 7th at three and three shine in warrensville heights ohio that's the main event where we're doing the astrology the tarot pick cards live on the channel if you want to if you're a reader you want to come and hang out come online come on down you can and there is a lot of giveaways which as you can see hanging on a bill's app are just some of the things that were given away like uh the urban tarot the musical tarot there's a lots of decks including the ones that have been used here on the channel which are cleaned and saged. Emperor energy. Wow, you are bossing up big time with the page of wands. There's a lot of fire in you right now. I like that. I like it, Pisces. Cool. Your confidence is building. And with the sun in Aries and that eclipse in Aries on April 8th, it makes sense that you're at a point of go energy where the expansion and everything just powers through, especially with four main planets in your sign right now. Totally get it. But anyways, I digress. April 8th, speaking of which, I will be streaming the Eclipse live to the channel. The moon kind of tells us what time that'll be. <laughs> but without the sun, we wouldn't even have the Eclipse. So even those moments during an Eclipse when the sun and the moon kind of jockey for airspace up there in the sky and the sun's like, hey, stop blocking my light. And the moon's like, well, stop looking at my dark side then. Eventually, they all work it out and everything winds up okay. And, then, and the moon cruises on and they just continue to exist happily. All right. Uh, I got more pick a card readings and all of your weekly, monthly, live, and otherwise neatly prioritized and organized page of cups for your viewing enjoyment. So do what you want to do with the Queen of Wands. And if you want to watch all day and do it again, do it again. All right. D that's page. That's like Cancer and Leo energy. Those two are never far apart, but could be cusp energy right out of the gate or just simply their dominant rocks. They'll always be there. They're always there. Or maybe you and the one on your mind just know you guys will always be there for each other. Aww. Okay, let's do it. we got to find out. You're kind of taking over the intro. I like this, though, Pisces. Okay, what we're going to do is a nine-card spread here on the table, 10th card outcome at the bottom, using the Grand Theft Auto deck. This is 2.0, but it has 1.0's energies all transitioned over into it. You said, I want classic Archer. Just give me Grand Theft Auto and then throw a boatload of clarifiers at it. This is basically Archer's version of a Celtic cross. We're just going to do our thing. I put my own little arrow on it. All right, but in place of the Titanic Tarot, we are using the new Music Tarot. Oh my goodness, I cut and picked up the deck at the sun. Hi, Leo. Harry Styles looking good standing in those sunflowers with a feather boa. So you are feeling a little more confident and good. With the four of pentacles, maybe it's a Leo energy or something about the sun that you just don't want to let go of. You just like you just like feel good about it right now. I like that. All right, cool. So anyways, this will handle the boatload of clarifiers. And of course, all the messages are for your highest and greatest good. Oh, you know, when you're with me, I'm your ride or die. I'm the crystals. I got you covered for life. You're indefinitely, indubitably protected. All right, <clears throat> let's do it to it. Get ready for Pisces. Oh, nice. Look at you powerhousing up. All right, let's go for it. All right, Pisces, what do we got for you and the one on your mind? All the thoughts, the feelings, all the emotions. Because communication, actually, believe it or not, is being highlighted as, as you bring your dreams into reality and like manifest a plan to make the dreams happen 
All right. So with all the planets that are dominantly in your sign right now, you're kind of you even though the sun has transitioned over into Aries, you're still kind of larger in charge. All right. So let's find out. Here we go. All right. Two shuffles, Pisces. Let's do it to it. One. And two. Let's love this deck for the pretty, proud, pure Piscerians. Here we go, Pisces. The bottom of the deck is the devil. Kind of like how you took over and the, and the reading just started in the introduction. Like, uh, I had enough time to have the software booted up and ready to go, but then you're like, let's go, Archer. I just want to read. All right? Your outcome is that motivation. The devil card, Capricorn energy. The ability to rise and motivate and power through any situation with the Nine of Pentacles to the Sun card to the high priestess underneath the deck. Whoa, totally could be any sign. I, I'm not telling. I know, but I'm not telling. But that sun card is there. Leo energy to the nine of pentacles. So literally what I said right now, you are actually, your outcome is good. Like pure goodness. And that comes out here from positivity. And it's the stuff that you've dreamt about with the four swords to temperance. That's some top shelf alchemy right there. Coming out strong Sagittarius energy. Let's go for it. Let's see what we got. What's keeping you all balancing on your toes and staying straight ahead? I like the outcome. You're manifesting. Let's do it. Currently, your present energy is the two of cups, cancer energy. So it's it's that point of, of things coming together, divine timing and the signs and everything lining up for you. It's like when you keep misplacing your keys and like, but it, you, it can be a little overwhelming, but you maintain your cool because you know, once you find them or you retrace your steps, two of cups back to that spot, then it's always the last place you look because that's when you stop looking, right? So you are actually doing with everything you're going through, you're finding that timing that comes in to divinely make that choice to come together from a place of emotions without overreacting when stuff can be a little overwhelming at times. I like that. Nice. Okay. What is the immediate influence on the energy? It's the chariot. Cancer energy. Put on the gas. No, I'm going to crash. That is the dude. That's powerhouse. Or do that. No gender and tarot. My apologies. I just sometimes I say dude a lot. It's a thing. <laughs> but this is that chariot energy coming forward. And even though that's like a Crown Vic down there, he's riding on top of. Does anybody really drive those anymore? Remember the Mercury Marauders? Oh my God, those were good cars. Oh my goodness, those were good cars. Whoa. Look at you taking over in a powerful energy. So there is a little bit of a gap or difference or something that you're looking to close in on. Maybe there's there's like, this is about the home, the house, the family, making all the things work out that when the rain falls, you can come in through it and, and make it through it. Or like, like those mornings when you leave for work and you forget the umbrella. It was like the only thing you need was an umbrella. It's like, why'd you forget the umbrella? That sort of thing. But then you realize, wait a second, it's in the back seat of the car. <laughs> you know, that sort of energy. So strong Cancerian energy guiding you on your path. Okay, so let's see where this goes. Could to have a popular could be dealing with the Cancer. Be careful that one, Archer. It's an antique. I know. But anyways, there is cardinal energy. That's powerful energy. The cardinal signs are Cancer, Aries, Capricorn, and Libra. You've got two cardinal signs showing up for you. That's you leveling up into a whole new power. Okay? I like it. you got the power. <laughs> what is your goal or destiny? The Ten of Pentacles. To have it all. Not bad at all. And this is that Ten of Pentacles tables that all the tarot readers talk about. When you get to that point of completion, that all your stuff's in place, your Nine of Pentacles looking good, the Ace of Pentacles has arrived on time, Amazon Prime type of a delivery, and you've got it all. Everything is lined up and balance out into this one here and being able to navigate the emotional waters from a place of pinnacle energy. All right, that's making bank. That's a solid investment on this one. Very nice. You can be born on either the 10th, 27th. I'm also seeing the 12th come out of this too, or your life path number two or seven. Interesting. Or the 20th, 10 times two is 20. Dig it. Cool. Some reason the numbers in math. Okay. All right, let's go on forward. What is their present energy? You got me, you got me feeling this. It's the five of swords. Aquarius energy. They are working on something here. The Five of Swords, even though a lot of readers will kind of, you know, kind of get a not so great feeling off of it. I kind of adore Aquarius energy in that it's the ability to stop and think. Aquarius is like an all signs reading or you're a Pisces Aquarius cusper, possibly. But this here, the one you're dealing with, they've got that ability like like Top Gun Maverick to fly into the danger zone. And swoop in very low pro. Aquarius is like an all signs where they can take those three swords, set them aside to be like, come on, let's let's heal those scars up and let things do good with just our arms wide open and, and go forward on this with two of swords so we can each communicate. 
So maybe sometimes they're a little too direct in the ways that they speak, and it might get you into a Five of Swords mentality, being like, hey, why you got to talk like that all the time, you know? All right, so they are working on something, though, because they're in the fives. They're at that midpoint in, 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 the, in the tarot. Now, what's their immediate influence? The Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. Repeating fives show up, or May 5th comes in on this one here. Even though I'm thinking of May the 4th be with you, and I've never watched Star Wars a day in my life, I, that's, one of the, that's one of my bucket lists is to be the only one that goes down in history is never having seen Star Wars. <laughs> well, I'm working on it. <laughs> Five of Cups. This here is that ability to overcome a situation. And like, like think about it, like, like maybe they just do things for what might appear to be no reason. This is like, like see how those cups all the way up there on that top shelf? It's, 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 it's that ability, even if they can make the best out of like, if this hero camera is broken, be like, we could repurpose this. We'll take the doors off. It will clean up this stuff. But it's like, maybe like you're always looking for your keys and like, they, they think it's cute to always put them on the top shelf, you know, or I'm talking to a shorter Pisces, something like that. You know, it may, you know, we always mention like all the tarot readers mentioned like differences in ages or this and that. Maybe there's just a difference in height where one of you guys is like kind of tall and the other one gets to look up like that dreamy energy, you know? But it's judgment-free zone. It don't matter, right? So let's take your three cards, add their two cards to it, and see what a potential influence is on this. The Two of Swords, Libra energy. That's balance. That's justice. And the ability to rise above those situations to learn together. You guys do want to have those two swords that I literally was just talking about in the Five of Swords over here. Okay, air energy to allow you to both communicate from a place of peace, love, and harmony with trust and respect. The swords are down. That's not ready to attack or go into any kind of a, whoa, it's it's a much more cooler energy. I like it. All right, let's see. They could be born on you or them. Could be born on the 25th or a life path number two or five. The 22nd also showed up now too. There's a lot of repeating numbers. Maybe you notice like you always look at the clock at 55 minutes before the hour or at 22 or like 1122 or 122 shows up. Or, or you set your clocks five minutes ahead, so you're a little ahead of the curve, right? All right, let's find out what's going on forward. What is the incoming energy going forward? It's the Empress. Look at you go. Fixed energy. I mean, a lot of readers pull Libra. I, however, pull fixed energy off of this. That's what I was trying to do. That with Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius is an ability to maintain course and heading and follow that light, like celestial navigation to put your plans into place, and to give birth to the things that go long term, long distance, that that manifest. It's nurturing a connection together. Okay, power couple vibes off of that. What is the environmental factors? The judgment card, mutable energy. Although this is looked at as Scorpio, I pull mutable off of it because it's the ability to reflect back on the wall. Look how shiny that wall is. And in your energy, Gemini, Virgo, and Sagittarius, to learn and adapt from it for the best outcome, best situations possible for all. It's the ability to not forget the past, but to learn from it together. It's beautifulness. All right. And there's the 20th. Rewind if you missed that one. I kid you not. This is why I do tarot. Did I not just say up here for some reason I saw like the 20th with those 10 times 2 and somebody like numbers or math or numerology? There's the 20. There's the 20 when you guys come together. Literally, the divine timing, two ten of pentacles, power couple comes together for the 20 and onward and forward. Maybe born the 3rd or the 23rd too, by the way. Just letting you know. All right. What's the inner emotions of how you'll feel? It's you. It's the moon. Also Cancer, because Cancer got the moon as their dominant rock. But in tarot, you've got the moon because that's that dreaminess that connects to the other side. And like I was saying, like the moon can't exist without the light of the sun. It takes two. It can take two to make the not so nice stuff, but it can also make two to make the really happy stuff. It's manifesting in a different powerful mindset and finding an equal balance to come together with on this, okay? And, and, and just owning it in a way. Like how Cancer showed up when, when all three of the water signs went in, went in front of the Grand Tribe and was like, okay, God, um, Cardinal signs first. Cancer's like, I want, the, I want the car. I want the chariot. Okay. And Scorpio's like, well, I wanted the car. I'll just take the death card and get myself another car. You know, like trading up. You know, that's how Scorpio is. They level up through their entire lifetime. It's amazing energy. And then you were just like... I'll take the moon. I know what to do with it anyways. Uh -huh, you know, so you you stood up and do an extra power as you always do. And you meet that one that's on your level so you guys can work on this together. All right. Something about the 18th or January 8th or August 1st might resonate to you guys. 
And yeah, all right, let's see what's going on because you've got strong Cancer energy. Fixed energy is hanging out along with Libra and Aquarius. Scorpio is definitely here along with Virgo. You, Capricorn, that's more Virgo. <laughs> and the Sun, hi Leo. All right, so yeah, definitely. And there's some Cusper energy because I have mentioned that you could be a Pisces Aqua Cusper. And we also had the Cancer Leo Cusper on this one. Interesting. All right, let's check it out. Let's get detailed. Give me everything you got. Let's go for it. Two of Cups to the Chariot to the Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. You feel like every morning you keep searching for the keys. How many Google tabs have you got open? Or what's up with your incognito tabs right now? But anyways, with your Page of Swords, that's the Swords Down. Amy Winehouse. No, no, no. We're just, will you still love me tomorrow? It's a remastering of a classic that goes into its own beautiful direction. Like how the original Shirley's version was a faster, up-tempoed, you know, Phil Spector type of a setup, wow, well, sound. And then Taylor Swift and Amy Winehouse took it and they just they just brought so much love and emotion to it. Is Amy Winehouse a cancer? I know Taylor Swift's a Sagittarius. What was Amy Winehouse's birthday? More research needed? Seven of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. More research was needed to get you there with the Nine of Swords to the Death card. Scorpio does know how to make an entrance right there you go but so yeah that's exactly what it is like you keep having to wonder like do they do the stuff they do on purpose seven of cups you know is it like it why you know you got all your chakras and everything lining up you've got your ten pentacles as they're working out and there's the repeats on the tens again ten pentacles squared you know confirmation when my cards show up like this that's archer you're on point you keep rolling with this you got this here the Three of Cups shows there is happiness, strong Cancerian energy. Let me get that Three of Cup out of there without spilling it. It's kind of like, sure, they can bring the Three of Cups happiness to the situation, but then like you're the one that always, see how these cups are all sideways? You're the one that always has to keep cleaning up after the party, after the dinner. Maybe you're more tired of having to reach for the ceiling than staring at the ceiling. Nine of Swords. You don't mind playing Caitlin Petty staring on the ceiling, but like why do you always have to try to reach the ceiling or to, to clean the ceiling or to anything like that you're always trying to go for the top and sometimes it feels like it eludes you but coming here into this this is a complete energetical reset where the sun just takes takes over the moon it's a complete reboot and an energetical reset on the energies up there it's to, to like go go forward and go again on this one here so whatever it is that you keep dreaming about strong scorpio energy that connects you to that with the nine of swords gemini the other mutable energy to adapt and use your words wisely or maybe maybe you're a writer seven of swords maybe you write about healing and about leveling up and powering through gemini and aquarius energy so like i'm talking to a pisces that might like to like look into self-publishing amazon and candle or you just you're still vintage cool and old school like bob dylan going electric you know like how we're heading for like finding a new way to approach a process like like in, in like you see that the electric cars are coming true and you're like well well that's great but i don't want to have to plug my car in every time i stop somewhere can we make the road recharge let's invest in that like bob dylan going electric and then everybody being like you can't go electric you're a folk singer and he's like oh yeah watch the subterranean you know and it goes for it maybe you like paladrones two of cups to the five of pentacles repeating twos again the 25th shows back up to the divine time to bring in out of the cold with this it's like hmm maybe you're similar to me and like you have an eclectic taste in writing and literature i have i have a lot of different books and collections on this one i even i even have books by hugh j strofield mm -hmm. very interesting stuff but it's about coming out of the cold so it's like whatever it is the attention the details like you know what you know and you like to keep your thoughts private but at time it's like do they know what you know that you know there's a lot of knowing here to try to clean things up on this one. And knowing is half the battle. Well, that's interesting. Thanks, Pisces. All right. So if you're actually into that, I'm seeing you go straight up to the top. Like you're looking into 1,267 hertz in frequency healing, 12, like 1,912 hertz in healings, all kind of different energies, 1,811. You're, you're just energizing your entire brain to like elevate you, get you on your toes, get all the chakras lined up so you can reach that ceiling. Yeah, totally. Very nice energy here. It's, it, you're in the midst of a kundalini awakening and finding a new place of humility and humbleness and the ability to question the energies. It's kind of like, like taking like, like I, like I practice the law of attraction and the law of assumption, but my dominant programming is the law of resonance. What you are is what you want. And instead of making demands to God, to the universe, like this is what I attract, this is the way it is, this is the way it's gonna be. 
you know, it's a little more Abraham Lincoln as opposed to Abraham Hicks. I will mention Abraham Hicks. I love you. But it's that honest Abe energy. Maybe you're seeing dimes or nickels more on your pathways instead of just pennies. But it's that ability to be like, wow, why am I so abundant? Why does the person that I want love me so much? Why do? Why is there so much? Why is my business successful? Why am I such a great entrepreneur? And it allows that to continue to come that way because God and Spirit sees you happy. It's not manifesting from that lack while not making demands. It's humbleness and humility and without judging. Beautiful energy. Somebody likes their, somebody likes wine because I see the grapes here or you're investing in wineries and breweries, just getting in on like the ground floor or something like that, or you just want a Kentucky mule. That's interesting. I usually just go for Long Island. Usually after Long Island or two, I've texted the meaning of life to some of my very, very, very special friends. But <laughs> I digress. That was that was a long time ago. Okay, so let's see. Everything we got over here. Thank you, Spirit, too, by the way. Always grateful, God. Thank you. Seven of Pentacles to the Devil on the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Swords to the Five of Wands, and the Chariot's back. Oh, my goodness. That car keeps showing back up. And it's those energies of, like, packing up and building the way for this one. Very similar energies between the two of you guys. You both want something to close up here with the chariot energy at the bottom of the deck. That's Jimi Hendrix showing up, who did things in a completely different mindset here. So it's like, like sometimes, sometimes maybe they're too direct, right? Like Jimi Hendrix, like, like lit guitars on fire and stuff, but he did it for a reason. Maybe something about candles or, or just those little flickers and sparks of inspiration. He worked with exactly what he had. If there were right-handed guitars everywhere, and Jimi Hendrix was a left-handed guitarist. And he learned the chords of Sgt. Pepper before the song got released because he kind of knew the direction, the modality. And it's like, like, it's like somebody playing music and just being like, I just know. I'm, I don't know. I'm just guessing the chords, but it works. It's like Mozart. Just just like showing up and, and showing Shufan up and just being like, whoa, amazing energy. So there is something about them that it piques the interest, but like sometimes maybe they're too direct. OK, that's like full tilt when when you cold start a car and you just slam it in the drive without letting it warm up and then wonder why there's no heat and, and all that stuff happens. Right. The devil card. But that's that's the energies that connects to this one here. It's like it's like acting like you already know what they're thinking or they already act like they know what they're thinking, like right up to the top shelf. And then you're right back onto your tippy toes having to reach it. Okay. But with that Ten of Wands, it's like they've been down that road as well, too. The Five of Swords on the Five of Wands and the King of Swords. Marvin Gaye shows right up there. Hey, what's going on? And they heard it through the Grapevine. The Grapevine's up here on your energy with the Five of Pentacles. Well, they're at the Five of Wands. You want to come in out of the cold, have a little bit of chilled, cool, calm collective energies. They want to overcome the strifes and the struggles, Leo energy, so the teamwork can rise and make the dream work. And it's just, it's just like, so you both want this with the Eight of Swords, Gemini energy, also Aquarius too. A little bit of that comes in that you both want to get to that point, but sometimes maybe they feel burnt out more. Like, like they've always had to adapt or adjust. And it's just like, they always know. But I'll tell you what, with this devil card showing up on this, remember, it can't be all bad. They could be born on the 5th or the 7th, the 10th even shows up, maybe the 30th and the 3rd comes out too. All right. 21st shows up, but that shows that with that 10 of wands, the devil card comes out, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cusper energy on this one, that it's like they have been on a dark journey here, all right? One you could write a New York Times bestseller about, but they do see you as that light that's been left on for them, okay? And with that seven of pentacles, they've done a lot of work, Taurus energy down in the trenches, trying to keep things rolling, and they, I mean, they do want this to work out, Okay, and you do want this to work out. Five Pentacles, Two of Cups. You know, like the timing feels right to come in out of the cold because the happiness is there. And it's like, y'all just need to talk to each other. Put the chariot on there. I just heard the Beatles, you know, my name, look up the number. That was an interesting one from the end. And your mother should know comes up too. Oh, we're getting, we're getting into like the Magical Mystery Tour album. That's, I love that album. That's a good album. Maybe something about the, just like, like you want to put a playlist on and just reach for the stars, so to speak, and, and just to motivate. Maybe you're like a supernova empath that when you get to that point that you've taken in so much energies, you feel kind of overwhelmed and, 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 and the burnout approaches where they did. So you guys have been down a lot of the similar roads on this. The Knight of Cups. No way. Whoa. Did you see that, Pisces? This is why I love tarot with justice. I literally say it here and it comes out here like a Polaroid picture. Shake it. Don't break it. Hold on to that card. 
All right? These are pretty little cards. But when we were talking about your energy with Amy Winehouse and the Page of Swords, and I mentioned about Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow, and I mentioned Taylor Swift did it too, right there. There's Taylor Swift. So one y'all is Taylor Swift, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow. You're still like Amy Winehouse, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow. And I'm, still on, I'm not sure on her birthday. Maybe she is a Pisces. I'm curious now. But they've been there too, all right? They've been down there too where they don't want to go like into that same direction. But it's always that one direction that this one actually, if you guys work it out, it's a love story. Did you see my throat chakra hit? Right on that one. It's a love story that comes out of it. Interesting. Yeah. So that Eight of Cups does show the overwhelming investments where you guys both like put everything aside or they're they're asking of you to put it aside. And like this, this is the energy of like, okay, I'll help clean up with the dinner party because we'll probably have another dinner party again. So we better be ready in case there is another one. Knight of Pentacles to the Eight of Swords on that Five of Wands. Something that's taken a long time to manifest, happen, and come together for you guys is slowly approaching with the Justice card, getting exactly what you want. Your head, your heart chakras balance up. Libra energy. And the Eighth might be a date that resonates or a, you were them or a life path number eight. But the Knight of Pentacles, even though most tarot readers refer to it as the slowest moving energy in the deck, Archer does not name his horse these Elmers, not by any chance. Because this is the U.S. Postal Service card in Archer's decks. Because neither rain nor sleet nor snow nor dead of night will stop the Knight of Pentacles from delivering that pentacle in its appointed destination. And I actually brought up that you like Amazon Prime. So you guys are both getting this or working together to combine something to allow, to allow your energies to be delivered faster than expected or right on time with maybe a little leftover to spare. Okay? It's like, it's like the ability to rise up above it. It's beautiful. All right, let's see. Going forward here, you got a lot of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorns right there too. A lot of Capricorn. Whoa. But anyhow, all right, let's see what's going forward on this because really you guys just need to talk. It's amazing what a phone call does or a text or an I'm sorry or a judgment-free zone place of forgiveness does because I see you guys, you all both got it there. And it's like ushering in a new generation, Pluto into Aquarius. It's a whole different mindset, totally different mindset than what we've all been used to. But I love it. You guys are like a hybrid couple. Oh, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Grateful. Pisces. Oh, my goodness. I cannot. Look at this. Look what popped from the deck with the Six of Pentacles. You guys do want to work this out. Meeting of the minds. Coming together. Just crossing the T's and dotting the I's. But look what you caused to come right out of the deck. This is why I love Tarot. I just took a nine volt to the tongue. That was, that was chills all the way. That was like a jumper cable to the tongue. I love it. Oh, my goodness. You've got a six of wands victory. Caitlin Petty shows up with the nine of cups and your energy, Pisces energy for your dreams, for all that respect that you want to Aretha Franklin right into existence. R-E-S-P-C-T is exactly what it means to you. And with that six of wands showing up, Caitlin Petty could be a Pisces. That is dreamy energy. She won't, she won't tell me her birthday. She knows I'll do a chart on her, but it's okay. <laughs> I digress. I, you know what? Ironclad, ironclad energies. And that's respect that if somebody doesn't want to do something, you respect that. And they respect you for your beliefs. And it's across the board that you guys wind up getting a mutual respect that actually allows you guys to become a power couple in more ways than, than you understood. Because like all through life, this allows you to navigate the emotional waters and, and rise above it together and learn a new place and a new way to love. Actually, no, don't put those back, Archer. What are you doing? Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. It's a whole different place with the Six of Pentacles that you guys do end up coming together. But you respect each other's boundaries. You guys... Y'all speak together in reels or are you guys in a new generation? Like instead of like, like sending like, remember the football papers or folding notes up and check yes or no. Maybe now you guys communicate with reels or memes or something digital on the internet or something. It's a way for a new way of feeling and a new place of peace and power between the two of you guys. With the moon card to the hero font on the ten of swords and justice is back. Did I forget to shuffle? <laughs> Rewind. Look at that. The moon is back. On that nine of cups to you, the moon card squared, you guys both did get this and understand the message received. And underneath it with the hero font to the ten of swords, there's higher knowledge because you guys both made it. This is that completion point and a new way of feeling between the two of you guys to find that harmony where everybody lines up underneath the light of the neon moon. And you guys just get it. It's lassoing the moon. And like, because if you forget about the moon because you're so busy staring at the stars and then you miss the moon. It's just that connection that goes a distance and realizing that you can nurture each other's wants and desires 
because you guys both have those deeper sides that need worked on that will continue to get worked on because we never stop learning. We never stop growing. And it takes you guys onto a whole new, even energetical exchange, not a game in any way, but that ability to love and trust and respect each other that lets you guys take things not only to the next level, but a whole new kind of next level together. I love it. That's justice. Wow. Pisces, this is your reading. You own this reading with the moon card squared to the hero font, nine of cups, queen of swords. Oh my goodness. You got strong, strong cancer energy. Pisces, Leo definitely is here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the five of pentacles comes out. Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, big time on this one. But honestly, you, I mean, this one could be any sign of resonation or I'm talking to a Pisces that watches all their placements. Definitely Virgos here. Also Taurus. Aquarius, definitely, and Capricorn, even Sagittarius, everybody's here. What they all came up for you, they all showed up amazing. Pisces, claim this reading. I did not want to stop this reading, this was incredible. Claim it down in the comments, leave a comment, let me know how it resonates and how it's going, who you're manifesting, what's going on with you guys. Um, I know it takes me a while to answer the comments, but I do love and appreciate you for even just taking the time to leave those comments for me. Totally grateful to you. And also, thank you for taking time out of your day, your week, your life, your love, and your energy just to be here and let me read for you. I truly do appreciate it. Oh, and thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for all the messages today that we received. I cannot wait to do it again, always. Definitely love you. Thank you. All right, Pisces, remember, this will resonate to any and all places of Pisces within your chart because we're not just our sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, but all the parts of all our charts. And I'm FHA compliant, and we'll read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. All you got to do is ask. And if you'd like to, you can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com to book a personal. All right. Until next time, Pisces, I'll see you then. Namaste. Peace and love. Archer out. Yeah, chariot. Love you. Say it back. <laughs>